Hey, what's up everyone? Gerard here with today's Daily Shea video. Today, we have Noble Otter's Neon Sun. So this is the new uh, summer offering from Noble Otter. Um, beautiful scent. It's a very lime forward scent. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. We have lime, bergamot, oak moss, patchouli, and musk. And so, yeah, off the tub, I've already shaved with it um, a couple times this week, but it's definitely lime forward. Um, off the tub, not overly punchy. Uh, I think um, earlier this year, um, um, some of you may have uh, grabbed uh, from uh, Seaforth uh, slash Spearhead Shaving Company, Sea Spice Lime. I think that was a lot more punchier than this. So if that was a bit much for you, definitely this is a little bit more mellow, a little bit more approachable, um, you know, uh, off the top. Okay. Um, hardware wise going to be using West Coast shaving, 26 millimeter infinity brush, synthetic, uh, not that I placed myself. And then we have an oldie, but a goodie. This is the car of Christopher Bradley C plate with the West Coast shaving gladius handle, uh, from the collab a couple of years ago. Okay. So, so okay, it's night as I shower this or right now. So I did. I'm sorry. I did shower earlier, um, but just a little rinse. We're gonna kind of go into it. So um, what can I say that hasn't been said about Noble Otter? Just really beautiful um, packaging. Beautiful soap. Really easy to lather. I'm just you know going in here I'm I don't even think I'm doing my I think it's been a while since I've mentioned doing my typical 50 swirls but in some cases the lather just comes up so nicely and so easily so right waste not want not um, yeah. so yeah neon sun um, let's talk about like the kind of Packaging, uh, believe the the one that does the design for Neon Sun is Mad Pepper Designs. Uh, just freaking awesome. You can't really see it, but this kind of has a like a metallic like shimmer, like in the light. It kind of it, it doesn't really catch it as you can see in the glasses. Kind of, it's pretty cool. Um, almost like the with the with the suns there, like a sunset if you will, and really, really nice uh, with the classic sports shades, volleyball shades, maybe from the 90s, 80s, who cares? I don't know, but yeah. Basically, you already see it. Just really easy to lather. This synthetic knot just blows it up. Look at that thing. Yeah, just absolutely covered. But yeah, it's been a couple days since my last shave. I think. Three days, yeah, three days since my last shave. Here you go, uh, Astra SP. I think it's second, third use. I think. Okay. You know, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it. C plate. Um, yeah, sense strength medium off the tub. Actually, pretty light. Really, really nice. Um, you know, No Balder's products are always so classy. Very, very easy to use. One of the easiest soaps to lather, I think, out there. Um, if anything, it's underrated in terms of its performance. Um, 
I think a lot of people, you know, talk about the, the really nice design and, and consistent design language uh, in its packaging, but that doesn't, that's not a, a mask for a shoddy product. It is a very, very good soap. It's an excellent soap. Performs very well. I can talk about the post shave. Post shave is very good, but I do think, you know, just to put it out there, I mean, I use so many of us, we, you know, we're using uh, post shave products. So am I really going out there and Um, uh, you know, being able to really assess it, you know, uh, not completely so. Really, really bad. Very nice first pass. I'm probably just going to do a second touch up pass. Right there, and and I'm not particularly going for chasing super BBS shaves. I'm really kind of just here to let you know that you know this stuff works really nice. Um, I tend to do that. At least with my videos. Um, I like to submit videos on, on stuff that I would use often, stuff that I keep in my den. Uh, probably touch up past, not really go against the grain, we'll go cross. You can just hear it mow down. Mow down what's left over. Very nice. Smooth blade. Then. You can hear the audible feedback, I hope. Yeah, um, it is the tail end of summer here. Um, it is September as I as I do this, at least here in California. Um, it's still quite warm, but yeah, summer scent, warm weather scent. You know, um, I think some people have some hesitation about some of the notes, namely like the patchouli and musk. I think people think patchouli and it's been kind of associated with that kind of like hippie smell, kind of not quite like B.O., but a very natural type of, the associated with that kind of like natural odor. Same thing with musks. But I don't get that. I just think it rounds out the line really well. Um, I think an old video I did uh, was on Declaration Grooming's tribute, and that was kind of like a fruity patchouli. Um, again, like not really offensive, and that's what this is. Neon Sun isn't an uh, overly offensive lime scent at all. It's a very approachable lime scent, um, not candied lime or anything like that. Just a really nice, really approachable, easily used lime forward scent. Um, for you, so yeah. Uh, what can I say about the card? Really excellent razor. It's clear to see why it's a nice favorite. And let me just rinse this. But I know that there was 
a recent drop. Um, of the Infinity Brushes, but there might still be a couple on the website. If not, I think Let's Go Shaving gets them typically once a month, give or take. So by the time you get this, if there aren't any left on the site, you probably won't have to wait very long until the next drop of them. Very comfortable. Very comfortable shape, easy to use, very nice pores from there. Okay, that's it, really. Um, yeah, Neon Sun, Noble Otter, styling and, and flying, wheeling and dealing, everything. All right, that was it. Hope you enjoyed my video. If any questions, concerns, as always, leave them down below. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.